All right, okay, so this is gonna be a good topic. Putting the AR5, Colorado AR5 at that, behind the 2J. Now, there are some things online that is just conflicting as information. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you my experience putting it in. So number one, shift, shift, shift location, that sucks dick. I have to relocate it. Um, some company makes it, but it's like 500 bucks. I'll just make my own. But there is a but there is a relocation kit for it. It's just hellaciously expensive. So that's number one. Number two, you do not need to cut the input shaft splines. Now, hear me out. What I mean by that is the splines on the actual input shaft that, that thread into the um, clutch itself, right? So if you want to avoid doing that, right? Because, you know, this one has a longer... Uh, splines on the input shaft. It's 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 this the truck transmission. So, what you would do, you would take the pilot bearing and push it as far forward into the motor as you could possibly, or into the crank as you could possibly get it. Obviously, don't fucking pummel it. You pummel it, the bitch will never come out. So, just get it to where it bottoms out. Like you know, like just give it a little more, little more love taps to see it, to seat it as far as you can. And when you do that, what you gotta do then is now cut the actual input shaft. Um, where the pilot bearing slides onto, cut about an eighth of an inch off. And then this will fit behind this. I have been running this for about eight months. Eight to six months. Dogging the shit out of this transmission. Fucking doing fucking first gear launches and everything. Clutch kicking in second, third, all the good stuff. Never had an issue. Um, third, the clutches. So, obviously, I'm running the GM Slave. I don't know if you can see the internal slave down there, but it is a slave. If you run the internal slave, you have to cut the inside of the bell housing to fit over the retainer. I think it's the retainer, or is it the... I think it's the slave itself. Regardless, you got to cut inside the bell housing to make it fit. And after you cut inside the bell housing, you have to also cut holes for the remote bleeder. Unless you want to bleed it from under the car, I didn't want to do that. So, remote bleeder. And then, for your actual clutch line, once you get those holes made... Your clutch will not work. Now, the clutch options for this, right? If you run the R154 shit, you have to get the retainer, the bearing retainer, the fork, I think the pivot point, and the slave. From drift motion, that is a lot of fucking money. I am broke. You see I'm using fucking LS coils. So we ain't, no, we ain't even talk about the motor. So what I did is I used the R154 bell housing, obviously. You got, you have to use that. Then you go and get a W58 flywheel, W58 pressure plate, and then you get an S10 clutch. Now, the S10 clutch, it cannot be, I think, the 12 tooth or 12 spline. It has to be like the 26 spline. I don't remember. But it's don't get the don't get the coarse teeth tooth one. Get the fine tooth one, and then it'll work just fine. Obviously, the W58 clutch pressure plate, and flywheel was not made to hold four, five, six hundred horsepower like this car is going to start putting out. So I got to change that too. But um, if you're going to use the W58 shit, you need to get an aggressive ass S10 clutch, right? I think what's in here now is either a six or four pug, fully ceramic. And I don't know if it's unsprung. I don't remember. This was a while ago. But regardless, if you're going to do that, you, you're going to need one hell of a clutch or one hell of a pressure plate. Which uh, I think ACT makes one. I don't remember. I think well, somebody makes it. I, I think Drift Motion makes it too. So you want to buy that? You can buy that. Make sure that it grips up. Um, but other than that, that is my experience putting one of these behind that. Never had an issue. Um, running strong, and I plan on running this transmission until it blows up, or until I make too much power, and then it blows up. Whichever one happens first. But it's not that hard of a swap.